Saturday we've got a little cheeky plan that Tina doesn't know about so me and Marco have been chatting uh, Tina and Marco my friends who have been traveling with they've been on their own adventure for the past almost two weeks now and um, the we're all a little bit sad the way it just suddenly came to an end and we didn't really have a proper goodbye after Lewis and Harris and all that sort of stuff. So um, we've, me and Marco have been chatting and we're going to meet up on Sunday. But Tina doesn't know about it. And it's a place that she's always wanted to go to. So we're going to meet up there and me and Archie are going to turn up and surprise her. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a little surprise for Tina. Right, in the meantime, let's go and get our laundry, let's go and prepare ourselves, and let's get ready for our surprise meeting with Tina and Mark on Sunday. See you soon. Bye. Good morning. So, although it's not cold, just above freezing, we had a lot of snow last night, which is pretty cool. So, we are just about to go for a little walk to go and stretch the legs, and then, <coughs> excuse me, we are heading that way where that car's turning there that way uh, which takes you towards the left ski area i'm gonna go and find a park up somewhere where we haven't been before but i found it on park for night and it says that it's free for one night um it's like a center and it's got water and chemical toilet disposal and then tomorrow our secret plan to meet Marco and Tina hopefully happens so yeah just packed everything up diesel heaters off and uh, I'm gonna throw the camera back in the van because I'm not taking you with us on a walk and we'll see you at the next location soon bye Hey guys, what about that for a drive? Come here, here, Archie. So we arrived at this campsite and this is pretty spectacular. So you saw the route that we drove to get in. And uh, the reason why we came here is we needed a shower, we needed to get rid of our toilet waste and fill it with some fresh water and all that sort of stuff. So this is pretty cool. Um, I believe uh, they've got five electric hookup spots, but they're open all year round. Um, I've just been greeted by the lovely lady who runs this place and she's uh, explained that obviously they've just had some storm damage from Storm Otto uh, the other day um, 
but apart from that, the campsite is open 24 7, 365 days a year. Uh, it comes with electric showers, uh, you got a grey welter, toilet waste disposal, fresh water point, bins, and all that sort of stuff. And you're in the most beautiful setting in the middle of nowhere. So let's go and have a walk around and go and show you around this place. So, in here, so this is Critter Corner, and you have to excuse me because I've got no grip on my shoes. But you can come in here. <laughs> and, oh, and come and see all the different animals. Check these bad boys out. Hey up guys. Hey. So Dave there and Derek. Danny Dan Archie. That's Archie. Danny, Dave, Derek, Dale, uh, and someone else in the middle is just chilling out. I can't remember who that is. I think that's all of them, and you've got all these creatures over there. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Archie! But you have to be careful where you stood. You know? So yeah, this is Crit Critter Corner. You can come in here and just, I don't know, chill out with all these guys. Uh, she did say to me there's some piglets somewhere and you can pick, if, if you can catch one, you can pick the piglets up. But I can't seem to see them, unless they're all hiding. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, I've got Archie staring at me down by the gate down here because he's barking his head off. Feels betrayed because I'm with somebody else and didn't let him in. Anyway, uh, time now. Look at this, this is stunning. Middle of nowhere. Absolutely fantastic. So you got another shower block over here as well. And then you got clamp clamping pods up here, a bar area. It's pretty cool. This is pretty, pretty awesome. And then you drive up to here. So your van's parked down here. Drive up onto here. Uh, over here you've got your toilet waste area. And then all this is your camping. It's pretty cool. And the surroundings, like I've said so many times, absolutely faultless. And you've got that single track road that you come down on. Electric hookup points, showers, glamping pods, fire pits if you need them, critter's corner to go and speak to the animals, firewood, you've got a little shop. It's pretty spectacular for what uh, you need and the location is to die for as well. So if you're ever in this area, and I'll leave a what three words for this location um, because I can't for the life of me remember uh, the campsite's name, but yeah come to this campsite absolutely fantastic and the people who run this are absolutely lovely um i've spoken to them stunning lovely right there's my little five minute campsite tour let's go and get a shower go and get my toilet waste get some fresh water and then let's go back on the road go and meet some germans see you in a bit
price you can't go wrong really so it's uh yeah it's pretty spectacular so i've just filled up with water i've just done my toilet waste and now it's time to hop in and go and grab myself a hot shower and i'll see you in a bit oh hello that's uh that's me just finished having a shower there you go you get to see something every day right let me fin get finished drying and i'll come back and speak to you in a bit get out of here go stop spying on me perverts G'day. So I just wanted to film this before we lose the light. Me and Stinky have just been out for a little walk. So we left the campsite, uh, Cairngorm's glamping camping site. Uh, amazing couple, amazing venue. Uh, and <clears throat> if you ever in the area, you should go there. They've got some amazing things lined up at the campsite. Uh, we then drove from about 30 minutes, 50 miles uh, to this area here. Um, I've actually driven past this area before but never stayed so it's always been on my mind to come back to this area hence why I'm back here now uh, again it's on pot for night and all that sort of stuff so uh, but it's bitterly cold um, at the moment so literally we're here for tonight um, Marco and Tina they are about 90 miles south of me and Again, Tina doesn't know this, but Marco, <coughs> we've just been chatting, he's uh, told me where they is. I've dropped a pin where I am. He's literally going to start driving up sometime tomorrow and come past me. And then I'm going to kind of like tag along and follow on and see if they click on and think, oh my God, it's Rob and Archie behind us. And then we can go to the, this castle that we want to go to together. And then from there... Uh, later in the day after we've been to the castle we're going to take a drive to Aberdeen and park up along the beach coastal area that's our plan aren't we stinky what do you think Archie no I'm going for a walk you're a good boy ain't you yeah that's our plan that's our update uh, so tomorrow we'll be with Marco and Tino again uh, which is really strange because tomorrow is the 19th. Monday's the 20th. They've then got from the 20th, I guess, leaving on the 21st to get all the way down from where I am uh, to St Andrews. And I think by the 22nd, because our plan is to stay together in St Andrews after Aberdeen, uh, is then on the 22nd. They've got to drive all the way from St Andrews near... Dundee north of Edinburgh and hot foot it all the way down to Dover <clears throat> they've got a Euro tunnel booked for the 24th I don't know what time of day but that is one hell of an epic drive they've got to do so that's our update didn't do any filming as to drive here my memory card is full of my dash cam camera it is what it is anyway right i'm gonna go i'll speak to you to when we pick this back up tomorrow see you later have a good night